Hello everyone, this is Joel with Anansi Creative and in this video we're going to be going over an easy way of creating section snapping in Webflow using the Scrollify plugin. Let's look at this on the live website. I'm looking at a CSS only way of doing this, which I might teach in the future. But for now, this technique is super easy, so let's dive right in. Here in Webflow, we've already got our project mostly built. What's important when creating this is that all of your sections should be named the same thing. In this case, they're called section dash three. And the reason being is we just have other section classes on different pages. Really, we should be using combo classes. We're using a dash here instead of a space because if you have something with a space, like this div block here, and then you look at the exported code, the space was replaced by a dash. So we're just gonna do that right from the start. You'll see why that's important in just a moment. Last thing, your section class should have a height of 100 VH. Here's where I want to point out one flaw with this method. In the mobile versions on a different site, we have a minimum pixel size. And it doesn't take very much content for this to be necessary in order to stop elements from overlapping each other. Having a minimum size will cause this bug that you're looking at. Now, this won't affect very many users. Most will either be using a desktop or a tablet or their phone in portrait. However, be aware that if you have a site with a lot of content or even a moderate amount of content and you need perfect stability, you probably want to skip using this method. Once your document is set up, let's drop in the custom code. The first link in the description will take you here. So let's grab the script tag from the minified JavaScript version and we're gonna to go to pages, page settings, down to custom code before body tag, and we'll drop this in. And give it a couple spaces, and if you follow the next link in the description, which will take you here, and then scroll down one, we'll select this portion, and then we'll paste that in. And we just wanna remove this indentation here. Next, we just need to add our class name for the section, which is section three. And we can save that. And you can't view this in preview. So let's publish this and look at it live. Looks awesome. All right, I hope you found this valuable. If it was, show us some love and help us grow the channel, and I'll see you next time.